Peace. It's your boy Anti Simp back with a new video. I'm going to try to keep it short. So I'm on Twitter and this woman makes this post and says, Most men with money don't care about how much money a woman makes. And that's how I know you niggas don't have any. Or you don't have none. And I basically replied and said that, you know, that's a lie. It's a lie, and I'm positive, you know, women who make posts like that or say stuff like that, they don't know any men with money. Because anybody who teaches financial education or financial literacy will tell you not to be the only person in a relationship, um, the only person in a relationship earning an income. And most of them will tell you that. And I know several millionaires, several cats who have their own business and their own money, and, and people who've written books, most of the books I've, I've read that teaches business business or, you know, how to start a business or any type of financial uh, education, they will tell you not to be the only man in the relationship, not to be the only person in the relationship making money. Being the man is fiscally irresponsible. They will tell you that. So whenever females tell you something like, uh... They didn't know that most men with money, they don't know any man with money, let alone most men. And realistically, like I said, this is the type of shit that goes on to further the gender uh, war. Anytime we ever focus on this, the, the same or one thing, you can always depend on uh, women or anybody to want to, to try to be a distraction, to try to be an agent. And turn our attention to other crap that don't matter. Right now, it ain't going to matter. But I think by the end of the year, and by next year, a lot of these women are going to be humble. You got women out here who are paying another dude's, uh, who, who are paying for themselves. Because like when that post went up, I saw this post go up about, um, about um, sending uh, women money. And another post that went up about sending men money through Cash App, just to, you know, just to send them something. And a lot, and people participated. People participated, and they, as, as, those, as those seems, people participated, and they sent um, money to people, or whatever. There were women who were, you know, had. I don't know I saw a woman up there that said she was a single kid. She, she was a single mother, and she had two kids, and she got laid off, so she needed some help, and people sent her money. Uh, there was another guy who said he was out there protesting. And people sent him money. I'm pretty sure the girl got paid, got sent more money than the guy. Uh, despite the fact that he was out there, he actually had a job, but he hasn't been working because he's been protesting. He's been, he's probably been out of, um, out of work for like weeks now, at least five weeks. But anyway, uh, my point is that whenever women, these discussions come up, you know, women like to play, like to continue pushing this gender war bullshit. And like I say, a lot of this stuff is going to die down or die completely, um, by this time next year. When a lot of these bras have to suffer because they've been laid off along with everybody else. We're talking 42 million Americans so far that have been laid off. And the um, unemployment rate is expected to go up to 30%. Right now, it's, about, it's around their 20s. If you calculate the 160 million Americans that do work, minus the 40 that that are unemployed right now, or the 42 percent, you get somewhere around 27 or 28 uh, percentage. That's the highest, in, the highest unemployment has ever been in recorded history. So, right now, like before the coronavirus, I know broads didn't even know anybody with any money because only uh, 10 percent of the population of the of the American uh, population made six figures, and most, more than half of the population didn't even make 30 grand. They made below 30 grand. And a lot of people like to live above their means. And this, the pandemic has exposed how, like, the people were already in debt, but it's, the pandemic has basically exposed how bad it was because we were only three months into the pandemic and people needed to be bailed out. They needed a stimulus check because they couldn't pay their rent. And we're not even just talking about the regular regular um, people who work nine to fives. We're talking about people, uh, we're talking about businesses. We saw J.C. Penney go bankrupt. We saw Hertz go bankrupt. Uh, I think it was, there was another business that went bankrupt. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, many of these companies... Are these businesses going to end up closing their doors? The 
uh, the housing market is about to crash, so rent will go down. Um, you'll be the cars, cars. You'll be able to get like really good cars for really cheap because that's going to be coming to a halt as well. I believe the cost of living is going to come down, and right now we're going through a world reset. And this, and a lot, and women are trying to like these, like mostly black women, because I don't really see it ever in other cultures where they discuss this thing. You go to any business, I'm pretty sure many of the businesses you've went to that you saw other cultures in there, and they had there are women helping them out in their businesses. So for women to say that, they, that most men with money, you know, don't want to know uh, or don't require for knowing how much their women make and that, you know, this is just the more division bullshit. And really, I, we, we shouldn't even really be paying attention to what bras be saying anyway because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And it just makes them sound financially stupid the more they talk. You don't know anything about money. You really don't. Y'all really need to stop. Every time you say this weird old shit, you just sound more retarded. Because you don't know anybody with money. We know you don't know anybody with money. Who are you speaking of? Who do you know with money that doesn't require, that doesn't need to know how much their woman is making? Who do you know is that dumb with their money that they're just going to be tossing it away? Like, we don't, people with money don't work hard just to toss that shit away. Like, you bitches are going to get a wake-up call, man. Pretty soon, man. Pretty soon. All this shit, you I hope the, like, the, the thousands and thousands of followers that you have will be able to help you pay your light bill when you are sitting there talking about what a real man needs to do. What a real man does. But anyway, y'all, this is all the time I have for this video. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up, so like the video, hit the bell notification to get notified whenever I drop a video. Also, uh, if you feel like donating, you can. Uh, tomorrow, I will be dropping another video. It's gonna be this is gonna be me treading into the uh, podcast territory, just me running my mouth for about an hour, talking shit um, about why I don't fuck with the red pill and the MGTOW movements. And that's it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.